You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. Hey, yo, what's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. And today, man, we're going to be working in Logic, man. And what I'm actually working on is uh, I'm working on a mix. And what I'm doing with this mix, man, is uh, I'm actually working on, I was working on the lead vocals. And what I was doing is getting the lead vocals to not only come through in the mix, but uh sit in the mix the right way you know what i'm saying it don't need to be nothing fancy because the track is pretty mellow kind of chill you know what i'm saying so basically man what we doing we working with this track right here let me see if i can just play the track So it's a pretty calm track, man. It's pretty chill. So it's kind of like a ballad, a ballad type thing. So uh, basically what I started with, man, is uh, let's do this. Let's go here. And we we'll mute all of those. And what I started with, man, is a vocal that sounded like this. And, you know, yeah, this how the vocal sounded. But you know what? Let me, let's do something. Let's do something different. Let's unmute those. Let's let the vocal come in with the track. And and that way you can see exactly what it sounded like when I first started. So after I mixed the track, I turned on the vocal to see where I need to go with the vocal to get it to sit in the mix. And this is what I came up with. So check this out. So as you can see, man, the vocals are low. Even though I got the volume down right there, the vocals are low. Uh, I think that day I may not have my mic set the way I really wanted it to be set. But that's neither, neither here nor there. So what I did with the vocals, let's do this real quick. Let's go to the edit screen. And... We'll shrink that down. We'll go here. We'll turn on this. Uh, let me put a mixer back up. So this is what we got on the on the vocals. I'm new to this, and to be honest, I've been wounded. So the first thing I did, I laid a little auto tune on her. I put a light grade of auto tune on her just to tune it just a little bit on certain little spots and stuff. I did like some little tuning on there, man, just to get certain spots on in check. Then I put a noise gate on. So here's the auto tune. I'm new to this, and to be honest, I've been wounded. So then we put a noise gate on there, man, because I was hearing a little noise from the microphone. So this is what it sound like. This, and to be honest, I've been wounded. And another thing, man, when you put that noise gate on there after that auto tune, it kind of cleaned the auto tune up a little bit too. And then this song, man, normally when people sing and man, it, it the S's are kind of vibrant. So I put a DS on there to clean those S's up. I'm new to this. And to be honest, I've been wounded. Not used to this. 
as you can see, man, I clean those when she was saying this and that S was just singing out the end of it. I clean those S's up. So then what I did, man, after I put the auto tune noise gate and the DS on, I needed to bring it up some so that I could get it to the volume where I could really start to sit it in the mix. So then I put my compressor on there and now this is what it sounds like. I'm new to this And to be honest, I've been wounded Not used to this See what I'm saying? So those S's at the end, I left just a little S on there But not enough to where it's like S in your ears so tough And then once I got it there, man, uh I went to clean it up some more without EQ, and I didn't want to EQ yet, so I put a little reverb on it to wet it up a little bit, and it sounds like this. I'm new to this, and to be honest, I've been wounded, not used to this. So yeah, man, once I got it wet sound, and then I went, and I said, you know what, let me give the voice some dynamic, right? I wanted to give it some dynamic, something that would make it have like some sort of analogish sound to it. So I added a tube saturator to it, and it sounded like this. I'm new to this, and to be honest, I've been wounded. Not used to this. And the reason I done that, man, because normally the tube saturator give you some more mid tone. And you know, when you mixing, man, the sweet spot is in the mid range. So as much of mid range as you can get, you want all of the mid range. You want everything out of the mid range that you can get without making it come through real muddy and nasty but you want all of that mid range because really man that's where everything in the mix is everything in your mix is really in the mid range everything is going to follow that mid range so then once i was done getting that on point then i wanted to eq so what i did i got all of my stuff on my vocals and then i hit the eq and now it sounds like this i'm new to this and to be honest, I've been wounded. Not used to this. But I'm trusting you because something's got to give. And what I did right there with the EQ, man, I, I strategically enhanced just certain parts of her enunciation. So you have to sit and listen really close to your artist. And basically what I did, man, I just I just meticulously pulled out the parts that I wanted out. So I'm going to turn it off and let you hear it again. I'm new to this. This is without it. And to be honest, I've been wounded. This is with it. Not used to this. But I'm trusting you because something's got to give. So, yeah, I, I was able to bring the voice out, get the vocals where I wanted, and manipulate everything the way I wanted it. But I wanted a little bit of echo on here. So, instead of adding the echo on the lead vocal to keep the lead vocal from ever getting muddy in the mix, I duplicated the lead vocal and then I added, I did like some effects and compression and stuff on the on the second vocal that i did to match the lead vocal and then i dropped the echo on it and it and both of them together sound like this i'm new to this and to be honest i've been wounded not used to this but I'm trusting you cause something's gotta give Can I let my guard down? So the reason for that is the track is so open that I didn't want those open spots to just be plain. 
So now I'm gonna let you hear the track again, and you're gonna see those open spots that I'm, I was telling you about. Let's do this. Let's go. And we'll turn this off. And we'll pull the mixer back up. And now you can hear how open the track is. Now listening to the sounds of Moon Music. So as you can see, man, the track is just wide open. It's just a kick and a snare and the piano. So what I did basically is used her vocals with that echo to fill in those gaps in the track. And this is what it sounds like. To be honest, I've been wounded Not used to this But I'm trusting you Cause something's gotta give Can I let my guard down? Been through so much shit So yeah, right there, man That, that echo that I added on there, man It just actually enhances those empty spots before the hi-hats and all that other stuff come in also once the hi-hats and stuff come in it really fills the track up and it and it's moving around and it gives you that feeling that good stereo feeling but also the track i mixed the track so that it could have a good analog sound to it so that's basically what I did. I don't really want to go into the details of each one of these settings that I put on the vocals. That's for another video. But uh, basically, everything that I did with these settings was to get this vocal to sit in the mix the way it's sitting in the mix. And basically, you you go into each one of them and you manipulate them and get your vocals where you want them. So that when, that, when the track is playing, the vocal is like an added instrument to the actual song. So, one more time. Now listening to the sounds of music, music, music. I'm new to this. And to be honest, I've been wounded. See how it come in those gaps? Yeah, so uh, that's it for this video, man. I just wanted to go over a, little, a few things that I did on these vocals. And basically what I'm going to do, man, as I continue to mess with this track, I'm going to do some videos and kind of show you like I will go in depth on what I did with each one of these to make that vocal sit the way it's sitting because I I did quite a bit to it so like if I turn all of this back off Something's gotta give Can I let my guard down Been through so much shit So yeah, man, that's just basically it, man So it starts with a good mix, man So you gotta mix your track good You gotta get a good mix on your track uh, And then uh, from there, once you get a good mix on your track And you got your track where you want it You got that track you got things spread out. You got your stereo effects and stuff going. That's when you that's when you want to start working on your vocals, man. And once you get that vocal locked in, if you notice, man, that vocal riding right down the middle, 
and pretty much nothing on my track is attacking my vocal and vice versa, man. So, you know, that's just what you want to do, man. You want to get that mix down, Pat, so that when you drop the vocal in there and you start doing your tweaking to the vocal, you never have to go back and touch the mix on the track. You want that track to be solidified before you start messing with those vocals, man. And, uh, and it all come down to game staging and stuff like that, man. And we get into a video, man. I'll do a video where I actually drop a beat in and do some game staging on it, man, and show you how I prepare a beat so that I can actually put an artist on it and get it mixed. So for today, man, we just went over these lead vocals. You know what I'm saying? The next video, man, we might go into some of the things we did with the noise gate and the ds -er and the compressor because I know a lot of people – tend to have issues with things like the ds -er and compressor. Uh, some people, I mean, some people don't like the reverbs and stuff either, but we'll get to all of that, man. We'll start going through some of these one by one, and i just start showing you some of the stuff I do to uh, vocals and some of these tracks, man, to get them prepped, man, so that they can go off to mastering and stuff. So, like always, man, don't just be a producer. Be productive. Get in that studio and be working on something. And until next time, peace.